friends, welcome to today's how-to. Today we'll be learning how to draw Hello Kitty as Pennywise from It. So first we're gonna get started on the top right hand side and we're going to start by drawing in the balloon. So we're gonna start by drawing in a nice big oval. Moving underneath that now on both sides, we're going to draw in a small diagonal line that comes out. And then from here, we're going to draw in another diagonal line that comes across. Now let's move over on a diagonal and we're going to draw in the face and we'll start with the bow. So over in the middle here, we're going to draw in a small circle. On the top of this now, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. And then we'll do the same thing on the bottom, curving this line around and then back in. On both sides of this now, we're going to curve this line back around and then down. Now let's come down and draw in the eyes. So on the right hand side, we're going to draw in a small oval. We're gonna leave a gap moving over on the left and replicating that. Now on the top right hand side of both eyes, we're going to draw in a small circle. For the top of the eye now on the inside, we're gonna curve this line up on both sides. And then from that point, we're just gonna curve this line back down again. Now moving underneath, on the middle, we're gonna curve this line over. And then from that point, we're just gonna arch this line over and then back up on the side. Now in the middle, we're going to draw in a sideways oval for the nose. Coming down on a diagonal again, let's draw in our hand holding in the balloon. So for the thumb, we're gonna curve this line down. And then from here, we're gonna arch this line around and then back in. Now let's close off the face. So on the right-hand side, we're gonna curve this line over and in towards the bow. For the right ear, we're gonna curve this line up and then across. In the middle, we're gonna arch this line over. And then leaving a gap, we're going to curve this line around and then in for the left cheek. Now for the left ear, we're going to curve this line up and then back down on the right. And then we're gonna close this off on the bottom now with a curved line from left to right, bringing that in towards our hand. Now for the whiskers, we're going to draw in a curved line that arches out. Dropping down, we'll replicate that. And then again, one more time. Let's move over on the left now, lining that up at the same height, curving that across. Moving down, let's replicate that. And then again, one more time. Now let's draw in the hair. So on the right hand side, we're gonna curve this line up and then we'll do the same thing over on the left. And then from that point, we're just gonna arch this line around and then in on both sides. To the left of this now, we're gonna curve this line up, in, and then back up towards the top. And then from that point, we're just gonna curve this line down on the side. Now for the string holding the balloon, we're going to bring this diagonal line all the way through and then in towards our hand. And now let's draw on the collar. So on both sides, we're gonna curve this line out. We're gonna curve this line in on both sides. We're gonna to continue to copy that pattern, bringing that further in towards the middle. And then now in the center, we're just gonna draw in a small curved line from left to right. Closing off the rest of the body, we're gonna curve this line out. And then we're gonna close this off on the bottom with a curved line from left to right. Now in the middle, we're going to draw in a small circle 
and then dropping down again one more time. Let's replicate that. On the top now, we're gonna curve this line over and out. Moving down, let's replicate that, curving that in. And then dropping down again, let's curve this line across. And then moving underneath one more time, we're gonna curve this line all the way over and out. Now from here, we're going to draw in a straight line that comes up, leaving a small gap in between as we come over towards the left. We'll continue to extend this out on the right and the left. Again, we'll move across, drawing in another diagonal line on the bottom. And then in the middle, just two straight lines that come down. Closing off the right arm now, we're going to continue to bring this diagonal line out. We're going to curve this line in and then over towards the torso. And then now from here, we're just going to draw in two curved lines that arch down towards the bottom. Let's move over on the left now. We're going to curve this line out. And then from that point, we're going to arch this line over. For the hand, we're going to curve this line in. And then on the top again, we're just going to draw in two curved lines that come in towards the torso. Now in the center, we're going to draw in a straight line that comes down. We'll draw in a small curved line from left to right, joining that together. On the right, we're going to curve this line over as well as on the left. And then again, one more time, we're just going to curve this line out towards the side. And then now from this point, we're just going to draw in a diagonal line that comes in. For the feet, we're going to arch this line around and then up on both sides. And then now in the center, we're just going to draw in a small circle. And that is it. That's how you draw Hello Kitty as Pennywise from It. You can pause the video and color it the way that I have done, or you can change your colors up if you'd like. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next. Thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and I will see you all on the next one.